Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Each week we make a video about an interesting Path of Exile character build that a player has sent to us. This is the 13th video in the series, and features a level 65 Templar called Land of the Damned, who has been built using the Flame Totem skill. We added Flame Totem in the 0912J patch, which makes it the most recently added active skill in Path of Exile. The skill itself is very simple, it's basically a summonable totem that acts as a flamethrower. By itself, it's mostly useful as a support skill to add some extra fire damage to combat and to distract monsters, but this player has built a character that is capable of completing high level content using this skill as the primary damage source. The skill gem in question is supported by reduced mana cost, greater multiple projectiles, and added lightning damage. The lightning damage is present to trigger the shocked state frequently due to the speed that Flame Totem fires. With the additional projectiles fired per cast, it really acts like a powerful flamethrower. The most important item for this build to acquire is the Searing Touch unique staff. This substantially increases spell damage, fire damage, burning damage, and the level of fire skills that are socketed into it, all of which make the totem more powerful. Because of that, it's important for the Flame Totem gem and its supports to be in this item to receive the additional levels. To get a lot of sockets in that unique staff, you actually require a high item level version of the staff, rather than one that is dropped early in the game. The Firestorm skill has also been socketed into the staff, because it's used for backup fire damage occasionally, and also benefits from the additional fire gem levels. His rares generally have good mods, but specifically the two rings and the amulet have increased fire damage, which is the primary way that this build increases its damage output. The Granite Flask, which grants a large amount of armor for a short time, has a mod that grants it additional charges. When combined with a belt mod that reduces the flask charges consumed per drink, he's able to use the Granite Flask three times before it runs out. The first goal on the passive skill tree is to get the notable passive that allows an additional totem to be summoned. This is near to the Templar start location, and the path to it can include elemental damage, fire damage, and life. The player then decided to take a detour to the Marauder start location to pick up a substantial amount of survivability. He then went on a skill grimmage to the Witch portion of the tree to pick up fire damage, more fire damage, and life, before investing 9 passive points in the ability to curse monsters with 2 curses at once. This is an interesting decision, because he could have chosen to spend those 9 passive points on very easily available life and or resistance nodes. The two curses that the player uses are generally elemental weakness, to increase the fire damage that he deals, and temporal chains, to slow the monsters down and make the situation substantially safer. He notes that if you swap in the projectile weakness curse, then the cast speed of the totems triggers enough knockback to keep bosses at bay. It's worth mentioning that this character is a hardcore one and hasn't died yet. This is probably a combination of careful play and defensive build design. The totems attract a lot of the attention from the monsters, so it's generally pretty safe. This build has a little bit of trouble with fire resistant monsters, however they're not a big problem, they just take longer to kill and definitely require use of the elemental weakness curse. When doing endgame map runs, it'd be important to stay away from maps that increase the fire resistance of all the monsters on the level. Trade those ones to someone else who doesn't rely solely on fire damage. We found while making this video that the projectile damage penalty from the multiple projectiles gems didn't actually work with flame totem properly. This video has been made using a version of the game where that bug has been fixed. This means that on the live beta realm at the moment, builds using Flame Totem with greater multiple projectiles are actually doing twice as much damage as they should due to this bug, until we deploy the fix. I first tested this character a few days before last week's Legacy Migration. I liked the build so much that I've actually been playing a similar character on the beta realm myself in the new hardcore ladder. It's not too hard to level up, because Firestorm is pretty fun and benefits from the fire damage you're getting for the totem. The hard part, at least for me, was obtaining the Searing Touch unique staff. It definitely feels like this build is rising in popularity, because the staff is not cheap to trade for at the moment. Path of Exile is currently in closed beta. We're expecting to enter open beta in late 2012, but if you'd like to play it before then, please buy a supporter pack from pathofexile.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching, and see you next week.